Welcome to King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord, he has made. I will, and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to another edition of King David Ministries with your host, Pastor Eddie L. Royal Sr. And this broadcast has been designed with you in mind, and we praise God for letting us see another day that we have never, ever seen before. Well, I hope you're having a great day. Amen. It may be gloomy, but we thank God for this is the day that the Lord has made, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I remember, I think it was one of the things where I first started coming on the radio, even here, amen, uh, about this. They say, well, you should and I should rejoice and be glad in it. Well, I hope you picked up on last night about in regards to uh, who's going to tell it about the youth. Amen. We had a great program, amen, about the youth, and um, I actually talked about, amen, about uh, me being in the church. And I and and and, and, and on, on these Friday night uh, uh, meetings, we call it a meeting, who's going to tell them, this is reaching out to our youth. Listen, listen, listen. We're in these last and evil days, and the reason why I say that, because you're trying to hurry up and get Christ back here so we can get up out of here, that's not going to happen now, okay? But we're in some perilous times, very much so, and ain't like it used to be. I'm 73 years old, and what and 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 what I got away with, these children that I'm going to get away with. Um, you see it on YouTube, you see it on Facebook. I'm talking about funerals that are, I saw one 17, 6, 7, 10, uh, uh, the, the rappers that died, one was 34 years old, plenty of money. But remember, you own nothing, okay, and you're not going to take nothing with you. The word even says, and they should know that, Naked you came into the world, you're naked, you're going to leave it. You're not going to take anything with you. You own not one thing. A amen. You just have use of it. But even the word of God even tells us, Jesus said, amen, but seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, right standing with uh, the king, and all these things will be added. And I and I and I've been looking at that. You may not own anything so far, but what they what the, our heavenly Father has done is giving you access, unlimited. However, it is if we don't get it in us, so we can operate in it, know how it operates, how how we can how we can utilize it, and walk in it, and 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 so we can help this world. Okay, so. But now, with, but with the time that they are, these youth don't stand a chance, especially as we, as older folks, don't tell them. Now, it's up to them. Once, once we tell them, which means me. I mean, I don't know what, what, what you're going to do, okay? Because, see, as a person that not only is a minister of the gospel, but I was out there, Okay? And I did, and I did my thing, even coming up in church. I got a few minutes, but you, we need to know this, and remember this. I don't understand why you won't say something to help our youth, Amen. Instead of them playing on the phone while you preaching, okay? Because you're not really addressing them. I don't care if you get mad. I don't care, okay? But the issue is, is this. I'm going to tell them, and you should too. But if you don't, that's your business. But remember one thing. I don't care if you're a bishop, potentate, pope, anybody else. Everybody's got a pass. And you're not the only one, nobody. I got a pass, and I'm not the only one, nobody. Okay? What do you mean, Pastor Roy? Somebody participated in it, or somebody knows about it. 
You ain't been clean all your life and that what I mean by clean, you just ain't been holier than thou all your life. So it's some aspects you can testify of because the word of God says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, they overcame them, him rather, him being who? Satan, by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony. You got to tell something. That's why in C-A-A-A and N-A, they talk, always talk about their experience, strength, and hope. You know, they, 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 they always talk about that. They have those meetings, okay? They, they set them up, okay? Whereas you get up there and you share your experience, strength, and hope. One time, I, I still have that, if I can find it here. I've been delivered 36 years. But the, the first, and I was in CA, the first time I, uh, uh, year I had a sobriety, I still have it. I still have it. My sponsor gave it to me one year, and it's been 30, I've had it 35 years, and on the back, together, we can make it. It's, 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 it's that, okay? We get all. We we, we I, I'm not talking about just a hoop and everything, but it's about helping one another. You say that we're that 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 we're born again believers and Christians, but I'm 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 gonna tell you what's so what's so cold about it. I I I ran up against people that call themselves Christians or what do you want to say? Or I didn't say I was perfect, but I never did that. that but 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 I I mean I I ran up against a couple. One of them I know. That I mean, that uh, PhD didn't say they were minister uh, or whatever. It Evil that really tried to take me down for five years, but they claim been Bible study and everything else. That's why a lot of folks they see that in church. Why? Why? Why do I want to come to that? Why? Talking about one another, want to undermine one another. That, that, that's not that's not good. But those kids, but that's what I'm saying. These kids need to know that. That's why on last night, if you look at that YouTube or on my page, you'll definitely see that. And I went into depth, okay? Went into depth in regards to, uh, in, I was incarcerated, still praying for churches. I, look, like I said before, I was dropping red devils. Going into the 12th grade, and I was, and I was a Sunday school organist. Hey Amen. I was 17, going on 18. I was driving Red Devils. Come on now. But I thought I was trying to get in the end crowd. That, that was my main beef was a, that, that singer. I'm in with the end crowd. They need to know this. So pull that live stream up. These children need to know that other than a praise team, uh, 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 youth service, and then go out there and, and and bake sales and all this other stuff. You need to know something about right here, right now. Okay, you can be a good little Christian, and then after a while, I just saw somebody on TV. I mean, on on uh, on uh, the internet the other day, a hundred and twenty eating something. Hundred and twenty. So one, one of you live that long. You're always talking about over there, and we're going to get to that in a minute. This is where we are supposed to dominate. Huh? They need to know that. They need to know that. I, I, I talked about, even though I was I, I was in church basically all my life. Amen. 77 precinct locked up. Hawthorne precinct locked up. But the Lord always sprung me. Amen. The glass house. They do. Amen. Eddie Roy. Yeah, me. Okay. So don't tell me nothing about being. Look, you being a member of a church does not make you, amen, of, uh, immune to the thoughts of hell. Okay. And then, too, immune to what's going on out here. And pastors need to get up there and say that. That's why I got them, uh, that message called Caught Up. These kids dying, man. I'm 73 years old. I'm past three score and 10. What's wrong with us? 
What's wrong with us? This is about right here, right now. What's wrong with us? So anyway, and then you want to, you know, we, you, well, I'll get to that. Okay, now, Psalms 27. One of my mother's favorite scripture as a little boy. Because I, I remember, you know, that's what his ministry's name, what it is. She, I remember her, my mother used to set me down. I've been in church all my life. Amen. Train up a child in the way she could when the older should not depart from. And Sister Chandler said something. Those prayers, even though they're gone on, has kept us alive, many of us. Now, you may not say that, but I will. Irene, Arthur Royal, my Aunt Dorothy, all of them, man, because when I, I did my thing, still in church, and God knows that it had not been for those prayers, the prayers of the righteous, the veil, I'd have been gone. Man, do down on me, behind something I didn't, I, it wasn't my fault, it was a, a dope, a dope deal, it, it, but if I wasn't doing it, I was with somebody else, do down on me. And just shout up in there, get out of here. Bam! And you know that's God. Glory to God. Tell it! The matter with y'all. You've been that way all your life, but you rather give orders instead of putting some out, out, out there. No pastor is a Lord over a congregation. Lord means owner. And if you read 1 Peter, Chapter 5, verse 4, and it plainly tells you, you are an overseer. We are overseer. You are not a Lord. Only God is, is a Lord. Yes, we're kings, of, but you're not a Lord over the people. And if you notice, Jesus dominated over everything except people. The fish of the sea, the birds of that, but people wasn't on the list. But we've added people. I ain't talking about out in the street, I'm talking about in the church. How can you berate me and then ask me for money? And I'm supposed to do it. That's the Lord know them. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. And I sit and I sit there and you let you berate me, and I still have to pay my tithes and offerings? I don't think so. That's not right. That's not right. So 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 my mother used to say, back to this. My mother used to set me on this and say, "Go on, little David, play on your heart." And I was like, "Man, bitty thing, sitting on the couch." But I remember that she's doing it all the time, and that's why I am. Cause David was a musician, so I am. So why am I? A -a Amen. Go on, little David, play on your heart. And I remember just like it's now. Okay. And this is her, and, and as a little boy, this was her, one of her favorite scriptures. She would always quote it to me. Psalms 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Father, we thank you for the word, the anointing that is on the word. We give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Now, there's, I, I'm over time already. There's a few points that I want to make. Point one. Point one, church, point one, is this one. Unpack your bags. Stop preaching about her of Lord, let's, let's get us out. He ain't going to happen. He ain't coming tonight. He ain't coming tomorrow. You can't say that. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I can say it. I'm gonna, and I'm going to read it to you. Now, church, and remember the church is the people. Amen. This is undisputed. Okay? This is undisputed. So, you, you, you don't hear no more. Well, you can if that's your thing to make somebody feel good. But that's about to come to an end. In fact, some of it has. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And it says here, this is Jesus speaking. And this what gospel. Now what is the gospel? The gospel is good news. That's the gospel. Okay? But watch this. But 
If he said this gospel, there are other good news. But he said when the, and this river and this one. Listen, saints. And this what gospel? Of what? Of what? Of what? Read it for yourself as Timothy Chandler said. And this gospel of what? The kingdom. I didn't write it. Don't get mad at me. Read it for yourself. Amen. Will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end shall come. No, we don't know the day. We don't know how. But you do know how it's going to come. And the gospel of the king has not gone around the world. So just pack your bag. And who you think going to do that? You don't think the devil and the God of this world and the people going to do it. It's the people that are born again. They're supposed to do it. The church supposed to do it. The people in the church. That's who's going to do it. Let me not get on, uh, uh, sh knock this one on you or shoot this across your bow. The return of Christ is predicated on the church. Okay, preachers. Well, I've been passing for faith. I don't care. What does that say? And many of y'all ain't never preached it. I guarantee it. And been there all the time. And this gospel of the kingdom. What? Of the kingdom. I'm going to say it again. Of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end shall come. Now that's what you need to start preaching. Amen. This word ain't mine. Well, I ain't going to do it just because you said that. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Who do you think you are? You've been passing for 30 years, 20 years, 10 years. Okay? I got a big a, a church and everything. Well, the world was Jesus' pulpit. He's preaching out there on the water. He, he told them to pull out the boat. Out the boat and preach from a boat. Out on the mountain. That's serving on the mountain. So just because you got a building or whatever it is, so be it. Okay? But hit, the world was his pulpit. Okay? Now, so, unpack your bag and start preaching that. If you don't, like I said before, watch this. Many of the plans in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that will prevail. Okay? He's going to get his purpose regardless of if it's me, you, or anybody. He's going to get his purpose. Period. Point two. Dominion, being it as the kingdom. Dominion, if you look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, let us make man in, in our likeness and in our in image and let them have dominion. In Hebrew, what does that mean? Malak, Malakak, Arara. Actually what it means is kingdom. He gave man kingdom. King's dominion, rulership, okay? That's what it is, domination. We're to dominate here. That's why in the beginning, and, 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 and he, I said here, you trying to hurry up and get to where God is. That ain't it. That's the kingdom of heaven. This is the kingdom of God that we are. And, I, and I, I'll, I put in, shoot another scripture on you. Psalm 115 and verse 16, undisputed. Undisputed. The heaven, comma, even the heavens, comma, are the Lord's. Did you get that? Did you get that? Is it undisputed? Been there all the time. But the earth he has given to the children of men here. That's the Lord's. He has he has uh, has to have territory because king has to have territory and citizens and he is a king that's found in Psalm 24 verse 7 through 10 lift up your head O you gates and be ye, ye lifted up ye everlasting door and the king one of glory shall come in who 
come in. Who is the king of glory? That's two. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O you gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Three. Who is this king of glory? Four. The Lord strong and mighty. He is what? King of glory. Three and three um, verses. King is missing five times. So the kingdom of heaven. And he's... He, he he made the kingdom of heaven first before he made this. So the unseen is more real than this. But he had to have some. But now, this is, I found out, and, and look at that, it's about a, the Bible is about a king, that's what it said, a kingdom and a royal family. Now, with that said, see, Jesus brought back a government according to Isaiah. We use it as a Chris, Christmas scripture, okay? And he brought back, and a government shall be upon his shoulders. But see, I think, and I've been looking at that, we are in, we were raising the democracy, however, and I've, I've even looked at something today in regards to, um, uh, uh, Britain. There are others because they have kingdoms. Okay, the UK is the United Kingdom. We are the United States. Okay, but in kingdoms, what they have is colonies. Okay, what is a colony? It is an extension of a uh, rulership or of a kingdom in a in a foreign territory. Okay, and kingdoms expand. This, amen, is a colony of heaven. From the unseen, he extended it to a seen world. Okay, but I don't think we have too much of a concept being that we're, us in the United States, of what a kingdom is. And a king, we got a president, not a king. A king is sovereign. A king's word is final. Okay? And that's what we have to now. We have to learn now. There are some that says, "Well, we had at, at a dis disadvantage." I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage. It's the point of that now we have to learn it because if this word is about a king, a kingdom, and a royal family, now we got to learn about it. Okay, we got to learn. We got to learn about it. That's why I've been checking it out. Even uh, go. I'm going back to look at the crown. Okay, looked at. Uh, uh, I, I like English. I like the way he talk. Uh, and, uh, and 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 how how they are about the queen and and, and if you notice how they are, we the word says we are kings and priests a royal priesthood a holy nation yet amen if you notice those kids even that king uh, queen uh, uh, Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth funeral that girl that middle kid how she walked in there like a queen because when they're born they automatically get tutors they know how to set as royalty. They know how to walk as royalty. They know how to act as royalty. We are kings and priests going to church with football jerseys, going to church with toe up jeans, going to church with, 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 with tennis shoes. I don't care if you don't like it. And we are royalty. Representing the king of glory in a, in a, in a service. And we look like that going in church with our hair sticking up. <clears throat> so, we got to get a concept of a king. You can't have, <coughs> you can't be a king with our territory. And the word says that we, what is, what is the word say even in Revelation? Jesus is called, is the king of kings. Who is the king of who is the king's S that he is king over us. Because we've been adopted into the royal family by accepting Christ into a kingdom, not a democracy. Okay? That's here right now. And this is what this is preaching. Now we need to find out what, and them kids need to know that now. I didn't say don't put them on the praise, but they need to know that instead of them playing on the phone while you preaching. Amen. 
it, amen, goes right there. We need to get a concept of the king. Like I just said, we have that he is a king and a lord. Now, one thing I found out even in study today is about this government that, that the Lord brought back. Because when Adam disobeyed God, a, amen, it was rebellion against him and he lost control of the government. God did. Amen. He still owns the earth. The, what it said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That is found there. The earth what? Is the Lord's. The earth is what? Psalms 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He still owns it, but the control. That's where Jesus brought it back. A government and the church supposed to be preaching it. Because he's a king, they get his bow, his let me see, values back, morals, all that stuff, being a king, and on top of that, being our father. But it is a kingdom. That's why, as I close, that's why when you start talking about this, it's your responsibility, if that is if you belong to church. Even if, you know, if that church, that preacher doesn't preach it, study to show yourself approved under God. A woman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? Do that. Okay? Whether they preach it or not, that is still your responsibility. Okay, so we need to we need to get a concept of a kingdom culture like they do. And I mean, hey, and like I said, I've been I, go, I, I looked at it. Well, I'm going back and look at it again about the crown. I, I, I like the way you act and, and over that. And I ain't just talking about the, talking. It's about a kingdom and how they, they even those brothers. OK, how they walk, how they act. And on top of that, as, as you know, William, because <coughs> I know Charles is not going to be on the throne as long as his mama was. He's already set. But do you think in a kingdom that he concerned about a light bill, a water bill, a mortgage, anything? No. Well, what did Jesus say? Why do you take worry or do you thought about, the, about food, clothing, and all that other stuff? Because you're in a kingdom. So therefore, what I'm finding out we ain't about that. We're supposed to be preaching and teaching the kingdom, and all the rest of that is supposed to be on. It's supposed to be on the kingdom, since we're kings and priests. But now, if you don't get it downloaded in you, and it on two, and the pastor ain't gonna be no around. We're around. Uh, <coughs> most of <coughs> they're not gonna teach it mm -hmm. because Matthew chapter twenty, Matthew uh, thirteen. Says, Amen. So, so is what the word of the kingdom. And Satan, when the word does not, they do not understand it. Satan comes what immediately? Why? Because of the word of what the kingdom. That's exactly what it means. And I'm gonna tell you right now. When you pick up this now, that I can say now we gonna we have to learn about the kingdom, a king, and territory here. In a royal family, that's us. We're supposed to be a supernatural people. We act, we act just like everybody else. I didn't say we're perfect. We act like, you know, I'm going to church on Sunday, man, and cheat. That's just like going to McDonald's. It used to be when I, now when I was coming up, let me hurry up. When I was coming up, the, even the young girls and everything coming come to church with their little pumps and, 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 and set in, in, in there, you get a whooping if you don't. Amen. And they had the gloves and everything on proper. Now we'll look at it. Look at it now. Pitiful. And we allow that to happen. And representing the king. This is pitiful. All right. All right. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock, 2000 East Mariposa Avenue. That is in the city of El Segundo, the uh, Sinesta Select, our minister's channel will be ministry tomorrow at 3 o'clock. All right, we love you. I hope you got something out of this message. I'm getting something out of it. Let's study about the king 
a kingdom, and a royal family. We'll see you tomorrow at the semester at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye. We love you. God bless you. <coughs> we'll see you on tomorrow. All right, bye.